Well, it is the one and only time that they've agreed to go ahead, uh, go head to head, that is, before the November election. KPIX 5 political reporter Melissa Kane was at today's gubernatorial discussion between Republican John Cox and Democrat Gavin Newsom. Melissa? Yeah, that's right, Ken. In the race to be the governor of the world's fifth largest economy, we got one hour of discussion on the radio. All the candidates met at KQED in San Francisco today and respectfully disagreed with each other. I'm not going to make anything personal here. To me, it's all about policy. At a time when national politics is dramatically polarized, the discussion between the two candidates for California governor, Republican John Cox and Democrat Gavin Newsom, was quite civil. Of course, the candidates did argue at times. Would you Common join me, Gavin, in, in agreeing that we should ask the media not to publicize the names and pictures that's, of people who perpetrate these crimes? You just think of deflecting your fundamental no, I think opposition that's to any common sense gun safety no, laws. I'm not, I'm not opposed to it. And they disagreed on issues like immigration. Cox wants to repeal the sanctuary state law and penalize employers who hire illegal immigrants. But Newsom supports the sanctuary law and wants immigration authorities out of courthouses. And they disagree on the state's new gas tax. Cox has led the fight to repeal that tax. He says our roads do need to be fixed, but the state already collects enough money to do it. So instead of fixing Caltrans, they raise the gas tax. Let's change so that we get our money spent wisely and efficiently like I do in the private sector. Newsom supports the gas tax, and he says that since 2013, 27 other states have raised their gas taxes to pay for roads. One thing the men do agree on, this state needs to be more business friendly. I think the Democratic Party, with respect, can do more uh, in terms of being pro-job. You can't be pro-job and anti-business, so embracing small business economic growth. That's wonderful. With absentee ballots being mailed to voters this week, both candidates are eager to get back out on the campaign trail. Been out on the campaign trail in 30 plus town halls and continue to avail ourselves to uh, people uh, in every forum possible. I just want to get out and meet people. I like people.